All right, it is 6.54 on the dot, and here are the four things that you need to know before you head out your door this Friday morning. Thousands of kids said goodbye to the school year yesterday, but the start of summer often prevents a challenge to many families who struggle to keep their pantries stocked. 57% of Spokane School students qualify for free and reduced lunches, and 25% don't know where their next meal is coming from. So for many, no school means no lunch, but there is help. Spokane Public Schools is teaming up with the USDA, and starting Monday, they'll serve breakfast and lunch to students in more than 40 locations. For more information about food distribution locations, you can head to KXOI.com, look for the news link section, and near the bottom of the home page. Grand County Prosecutor's Office has dropped the first-degree manslaughter charge against Sean Walker, the Cooley City teen who was accused of stabbing his twin brother to death in February. Prosecutors concluding that Walker was indeed acting in self-defense as statements from witnesses claim that Sean had attempted to get away from his brother when that stabbing occurred. Two motorcyclists were killed in the Spokane area within the last week, and Wednesday, two people were trapped underneath a car after a crash at an in intersection. And last check, they are both in critical condition. A tragic reminder to motorcyclists of any age and experience level to ride smart. Also a reminder for the rest of us on the road to keep an extra eye out for those on two wheels. Coeur d'Alene police say crime is on the decline in that area, according to the department's ComStat report released yesterday. Crime between January and May of this year was down 22% compared to the same time in 2016. Now, those crimes include aggravated assaults, arson, homicide, rape, burglary, robbery, and theft. All right.